Hello everyone, I am Modding Thomas, and today I'm going to be doing a GFX asset tutorial. So, today we're going to be making three different assets. This tank, and uh, a Portugal one, and one for uh, Josef Pusutski. So, what I have here... This is a website called remove.bg uh, and it basically just removes um, the backgrounds from images. It saves so much time and I've been using it for the past like two, three months. Anyways, uh, use whatever image uh, you're using. This will work like with nearly anything. There might be like uh, some mess ups. Usually that happens if, uh, uh, for say, like if this was like uh, this background here was darker, it probably wouldn't delete it because it's similar to this area, which isn't being cut off. Anyways, just download your image and it will download to your downloads folder. I set it to download to my desktop. So, so then you'll have a. Uh, a PNG file and you'll open it and uh, I'll be cropping this there uh, so the first one we'll be doing is uh, Mr. Pilsudski so just do control X then paste it on a new layer and then you'll get, then shrink it down to around a, like, a, what do I have here? Oops. Around here is good 80 width, 84 height. It's fine around there. If it's around like 70 or 80, it's fine. So just, cr and then just, uh, crop it to your, uh, thing then you're going to want to copy and paste the base and you're going to want to use your paintbrush tool and color in that black and see this is on top of the other layer and then you're going to post the black layer again and then now you're going to go to filters blur and then gaussian blur or whatever and set the x and y to 1.5 then merge it down with the other black layer and then put it under the other layer. Now see you have a little bit of shadow then just uh, copy and paste it a couple of times. Now you have this. I think you're done but no. Now you have to go to... oh wait actually. Make sure you, the image mode is in RGB because if it's in grayscale uh, the bevel won't work which is uh, pretty important. So when you do the bevel uh, Get rid of the X on work on copy, and then set the thickness set the thickness to around six. And see, do something like this. You're going to copy and paste the base layer, and then paste it over. Then go to filters, uh, distorts, and then emboss. Then it doesn't really matter. Just keep it around there and set the mode to multiply and then just put down the opacity and you'll have something like this yeah it'll be good okay so that's uh... the first asset you will use this on uh... focus icons and national spirit stuff as well so this is an object this will be, this is a tank, and same thing before, control X, make a new layer, and then scale it down to around this. Center it, crop, there, copy and paste it, color it all black. 
copy and paste the black layer and it's the same thing like before then on the top black layer blur set to 1.5 merge down put it under you have this decor bevel thickness set 6 now you have this and then same thing like before copy and paste it then set the emboss uh, filter then multiply there there you go that's the tank and then now for the map the uh, map example we'll be doing Portugal um, so just take a screenshot of it in game or if you have a map or something then uh, just do it do the same thing so just um, use the lasso tool and just uh, set it around your uh, target and our target is Portugal here it takes like two minutes to do but it'll take longer if you have a larger country that you're doing like Russia or uh, America well America can be pretty easy because most of the borders are pretty straight except for like the coast and the southern border and now you have this and I'm going to copy and uh, control C and go to edit paste as and then go to new image and you can do you can do shift control V uh, as a shortcut oh I forgot something uh, before you uh, paste it you have to uh, color it a single color so I'll just do uh, this uh, I'll do black so now you just want to choose your color and I'm going to uh, get this green so I'm gonna magic select it with the magic wand and I'm going to color it that green and then you can make it whatever color and then you're going to do control X paste set it like this and then you have something like this same thing like before color it all black put on a new layer then put the black layer over your former black layer collagen blur on the top black layer merge down put it under your base layer now you're nearly done same thing like before use bevel set it I'll set this at 5 then you get this and if you want you can set emboss or whatever it doesn't really matter and you get something like this it's pretty good and now I'll be uh you can do like flags as well um it's pretty easy uh, all you need to do is uh, color this uh, the base thing white and then uh, make a new layer and put the flag of the country over it and then do the steps that I did with the filters and shit and yeah now I'm going to um, Get a background. We'll do uh, this one uh, actually. This one. So we have this. This tank. This is a Polish tank actually. So uh, do this. Center it, and then I don't know, get the Polish flag. Mm, 
And if you ever want to use these uh, assets that I made, uh, I will put it in the description. A link to them in the description. You can download them. Have this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then now let's say uh, put Pilsudski, who's Polish, and I'll put him here. And there doesn't look that good, but uh, it can look better on uh, other backgrounds. And sometimes, like um, certain images don't work well if they're like too white or too dark. Let's do this uh, Portugal asset. And then let's say. Uh, this fire asset. Then make it larger. And there. I just rushed this so it would look better uh, if you actually put time into this, but uh, that's just example of how they would look like on focuses and that's all for today if you have noticed uh i've been using a different folder pilsudski database that is because i have had uh, i guess a problem with the gates of versailles and i have um and they got rid of me, blah blah blah, and now I'm making my own mod. And I'll put the link uh, to the Discord in the description if you want to see um, some stuff I have. And uh, that's all for today. If you have enjoyed this video, uh, like and subscribe, and comment. Um, if you need help or uh, have a suggestion or question and uh, thank you for watching this video and farewell